How to Diversify $1 Million in Gold for Retirement Diversifying $1 million in gold for retirement involves strategic planning to ensure stability and growth. Here's the guide to navigating this process. Gold's Role in Retirement Gold is a reliable asset for wealth preservation. It acts as a hedge against market volatility and inflation, offering stability to your retirement portfolio. Types of Gold Investments 1. Physical Gold Includes bullion, coins, and bars. It's tangible and secure but may involve higher premiums and storage costs. 2. Gold ETFs Provides exposure to gold prices without holding the metal physically. It's liquid and convenient. 3. Gold mining stocks Offers potential for high returns but can be more volatile. 4. Gold Mutual Funds, invests in a mix of gold-related assets and offers professional management. 5. Digital Gold, allows electronic buying and storage with lower premiums. Allocation, consider allocating 5 to 15% of your portfolio to gold. This translates to $50,000 to $150,000 for $1 million, depending on your risk tolerance. Buying Strategies 1. Dollar Cost Averaging DCA, invest regularly, reducing the impact of price fluctuations. 2. Lump Sum Investment Invest a large amount at once, but be cautious of market timing. 3. Rebalancing Adjust your gold allocation periodically to maintain your desired balance. Storage and Security 1. Home Storage Convenient but risky. 2. Bank safe deposit boxes, secure but limited access. 3. Professional vault storage, offers high security and insurance. Tax considerations, be aware of capital gains taxes on gold and consult a tax professional. Diversification, gold should complement other assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate to spread risk and enhance portfolio resilience. This approach helps ensure your retirement savings are stable and secure. Do you want to learn about how to secure your retirement with gold investment? Download your free gold IRA guide now. Click the link below in the description to get it. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.